this tax amnesty, flat rate, combined up with the tax amnesty, all come under the tax reforms that the vice president wants to implement in this manifesto. What's your verdict of it when you assess it as a tool for promoting growth and, and helping businesses like you have in Guta? Uh, good evening and a pleasure to, to be here. I, I think it's, uh, it's laudable. Um, at the end of the day, what you want is compliance and you want exactly. compliance that allows um, businesses and entities to not only pay their taxes, but the government also to collect more, right? So to the extent that the processes for filing taxes are cumbersome and that pushes certain um, of them away and even in a way allows the so-called informalization to take place, then that, that is a problem. And I think the proposals on the tax front, particularly the flat tax rate system, um, and then the tax amnesty, and we can talk about the others, are all very much a welcome. It's also important to state that some of these are not exactly new, right? So you can mm -hmm. go back and you can see we've had the VAT flat rate scheme, the 3% VAT uh, for some certain businesses in times past. And I think what will be interesting really to sort of interrogate further is whether or not these did work in the way they were envisaged in terms of mm -hmm. before and after. The, have we seen an improvement in the collection levels, the rate, uh, the level of compliance and effort? And I think largely the anecdotal evidence supports that. And that is what said uh, into this. And as you can hear from Guta as well, um, that they were consulted and everybody has been crying, uh, particularly about the level of taxes on, on goods and services. I, I was shocked myself uh, two weeks ago when, when I came down to Ghana, I bought uh, food uh, worth about 200 uh, plus Ghana CDs, and I had to pay quite a considerable amount of different line items of tax from COVID levy to NHIL and things like that. And I think the better or the more we simplify it, the better it becomes from a compliance point of view, but also allows us to collect, you know, uh, more oh, for exactly. national development purposes. Mm -hmm. And we've seen this work in other jurisdictions. Exactly. I think the vice president talked about uh, Estonia, mm -hmm. you know, where you've got a, a high degree of digitalization, but almost like a flat rate uh, system when it comes to, uh, to, to taxes. And for things like even corporate income tax, if you are a company in that jurisdiction, uh, you pay 20%, it's going to go up to like 22%. However, when you declare your profit and you actually reinvest your uh, tax proceeds back into the economy, effectively, it's given back to you as a base. So you pay like 0%, right, on, mm -hmm. on that. And I think those proposals are very much largely uh, welcome. Uh